Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Fade Bills here. Long time no see. It's been quite a while since I made my last vlog and, uh, you know, I felt like now was the right time to make another one. Um, it's going to be totally unscripted, so if I sound flustered, I'm sorry. But you guys may or may not know about me, but I am active duty military, specifically Navy, and I really don't like talking about it, like at all. And uh, recently, the commanding officer of my old command, the USS Theodore Roosevelt, Captain Brett Crozier, he was recently let go by the, uh, by the Navy, or sacked, I should say, for wanting to dock in Guam and wanting to get all the infected sailors with uh, COVID-19 off his boat. But not just like infected sailors, he wanted to get everybody off the boat so they didn't have to sit there and suffer. And I, I, I know that they were actually suffering because I have, you know, Snapchats, I got messages from everybody on that boat that I had on there saying that it's been a shit show and a half and that they, you know, Big Navy's not doing anything to help them. So Captain Crozier, writes this letter to the Secretary of the Navy saying we're not at war, we don't need to have sailors die in peacetime because, you know, you didn't want to help us out. So, because he wrote that letter, they sacked him, and it's going to be a super unpopular move with everybody else in the, in the military. Like, I'm not on that boat anymore, but I feel for them, and I feel like this is going to be a big setback as far as, like, quotas for, you know, recruitment, and everything like that because nobody's going to want to trust the navy anymore the lack of trust I already had in the navy pretty much just cemented itself anybody that didn't believe me now has to the only people that deny anything wrong happened on the big navy part are like boomers and people that firmly believe in chain of command well here's a little statement for those people Fuck the chain of command. This is greater than anything related to, you know, peacetime maritime navigation tactics. Like, you guys don't understand. They didn't need to be on deployment with all this shit going down. There's up to 5,000 people on an aircraft carrier. And within the first couple days of one person getting confirmed with coronavirus on that boat... They had up to 115 more within a couple of days. So unless you were really content with just letting everybody get infected on the fucking boat, and might I add that smokers are heavily affected by coronavirus, up to 90% or 95% of that boat are smokers. So you're looking at a lot of people with different health issues, different ages, and smoke, you, you do have at least a couple people in there that are probably going to die from it if nothing was taken. So, I really believe the Navy fucked up with Captain Crozer. And he really deserves some sort of medal of gallantry for his actions and wanting to protect his sailors. He's the only person I've ever known in my th current three years of active duty that has ever stood up for his sailors and ever acted on, the, on what was better for the group. Like I said, guys, this is totally unscripted. Uh, I'm looking to invest in like a, a camcorder or video camera in the future so I could do better vlogs. But, uh, you know, it's been your boy, Fade Bills. I'm out.